Hey guys, Jeff here with Ghost Night Gaming, and are you looking for an opportunity to not only make yourself some caps, but also do it in a relatively easy manner? If you're interested, then you're definitely going to want to check out this video, because I'm going to show you a way to basically use your settlements to provide yourself with a whole lot of disposable income, and an opportunity to basically fund any future projects, keep working on that nice fancy armor, building up those settlements, and generally making your life a whole lot easier in Fallout 4, at least when it comes to caps. I can't do anything to help you about the super mutants. Well, this might help with the super mutants, but here's basically what it comes down to. The easiest way to make caps in Fallout 4 is actually water. And I tell you that right now, producing water. As you can see here, I am producing a decent amount of water here. And I'm going to go over basically what it's going to take for you to be able to get started early and be able to uh, further improve your water production so that basically you're never going to need to worry about caps and by that proxy getting junk, ammunition, weapons, armor, whatever you're going to need in Fallout, at least when it comes to caps. So let's take a look at the basics. Basically what you need to do is you need to produce fresh water. Basically, purified water is going to be the ticket to it, and we're going to want to produce a lot of uh, uh, fresh purified water. Great thing about this is we can do this fairly early on. As you can see, I'm in Sanctuary Hills right now. So fairly early on in the game, you can get access to Sanctuary Hills thanks to following the first parts of the Minutemen quest lines with Preston Garvey. From doing that, get access to Sanctuary Hills, and you can start producing water by the truckloads, at least not too long after getting started. So the first step here is we're going to take a look at what you're going to need to start producing water. So step one, we need to look at water resources and what we can use. So the obvious thing is we could sit here and start building water pumps. Look at this, I can build 55 water pumps with what I've got stored here. But we're not going to want to go that route. We actually want to start at basic water purifiers, but we want to get ourselves to industrial water purifiers as soon as we can. Uh, as you can see, to get a water uh, industrial water purifier, we need to get access to rank one of the science perk. So let's go take a look at that really quick and what that's going to entail. I have a level up that I'm not going to use just yet. What it requires is a six intelligence. So this is something you could start off with. Uh, and just quickly uh, improve your special stats, put Intelligence to 6 right off the hop, and you're going to go and you're going to want to grab Rank 1 Science. So this gives you access to basic Rank 1 high-tech mods. So you're going to want to grab that, and that's going to help you twofold. So as soon as you can grab that, you can. If you don't want to grab it right away, you can still make do with just the basic purifier. That's what I started with here. Take a look at my water production already for this location. It has these water purifiers here, and I also have a couple industrial ones just over there. So that's what's affecting the total numbers. From there, obviously, you're going to need to provide power for them. So, and some people were like, well, why don't I just use water pumps? Because you don't produce nearly as much water with them. One of these produces 10, whereas this only produces three. So you need to build four of them just to get that same kind of production. So it's considerably more efficient. And of course, if you build an industrial purifier, you need one uh, to equate to four of these. So eventually these will all get replaced with the big industrial ones at some point. So yeah, we're going to want to build those, and as you can see, the materials aren't terrible. I mean, rubber and steel are very easy to get, especially in Sanctuary Hills, where you can just get rid of a whole bunch of the stuff here by scrapping it all to get all that uh, rubber and steel. Now, you're going to have to go hunting a little bit for, for copper and oil and ceramics and stuff like that, but you should be able to, by the time you get here, be able to probably build one, or at least have enough caps in your pocket to kind of buy that first one. And that's really all it takes. It's get that first one going. Of course we need power. So simple thing to get started off, you need you need to pr uh, produce five power for each of the industrial ones and only two for these guys. So one of these generators will will you know fuel two of those, two or three of those. Uh, now if you have rank one science of course you can go straight towards the large in generator which produces 10 which allows you to power two of those with oh, just one. So that's not too, too, too bad. It requires rank one science. Some of the parts are a little bit more work and might be a little bit more expensive to get because they're a little bit harder to find, which is aluminum and nuclear material. But once again, that's something you can work towards. 
build a couple of smaller generators for now just to get yourself uh, set up and then go for those large generators later on. There is, if you have all of the uh, all of the DLC, uh, a fusion generator that you can build as well. The materials actually aren't too bad. They're not that much more than building the regular large generator, but it produces 100 power. However, it requires rank 4 science. That's going to take a little bit of work because that's fairly up in the levels. I think you... Let's take a look at it right now. So going and doing that you're going to need to be level 41 anyway, so you're not doing that one anytime soon. This will get you started in the meantime, and by then you can get that uh, going to just produce tons of water. So you can start off here and you can already start producing water. Let's see if there's any water actually already saved up here over at the workshop. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to come back every once in a while and there will be stuff sitting in the uh, workshop that you can pick up. Let's go over here. So we go to transfer, and we're going to go look at eight, and look at that. With just the water purification that I've got going, I've got 86 purified water. So that's not too bad to start off. There are a couple other locations that are really great for producing a lot of water to be able to really uh, improve that. And I'm actually going to show you one of those locations right now. One of the best places I found to produce a lot of mo uh, water in a very short time is actually Nordhagen Beach. So let's go over there and let's go take a look. And welcome to Nordhagen Beach. As you can see, some of the settlers are working here. And I've got some defenses up because you're going to need those. And as you can see, this is the start of my water production here in Nordhagen Beach. I do have a little bit more to go. I have a whole bunch of ones that aren't powered, but you're looking at <laughs> about 16. Uh, water purification uh, spots here, and I still have a little bit of room to probably place another three, four, or five more. So as you can see, this is why. There's a couple other locations that do have some some coast or riverside that you might be able to put up uh, some just to produce water in those spots. But this is the probably the best spot in all of the Commonwealth to be able to produce water. So just at this point, with what I've built so far, I'm currently producing 323 water is the basic number that it calculates. What that actually equates to is kind of a little bit uh, different, but let's actually see if I can add any more power here. Let's go check if I got enough material. Nope, I'm still short a little bit of copper to put up another uh, generator, but I'll put up another one and then we'll get these guys all wired up soon enough. And we'll see what our water production is at that point. Now, with that being said, let's go and take a look at the results of this. So sitting over here, I've got 247 water right there. So that's almost three times what I was getting over in uh, Sanctuary Hills. So that's a huge amount of water to produce. And this isn't even fully functional. Wait until it gets fully functional and the amount of water you're producing. And you're gonna go. You are gonna have to defend it. It is gonna take a little bit of work. But this is something that can actually, like, work itself very very quickly because once you get that initial bit of water like just getting sanctuary hills going going on a, a bit of adventure go and get some levels stuff like that uh come back and collect that water then you can start going and selling the water and using it to buy more junk more materials so let's go over to good neighbor and i'm going to show you what that looks like all right welcome to good neighbor and oh it looks like all the shops are open Let's go here, because this is basically going to work into that. Daisy. All right. What do you got, Daisy? I'll take a Let's look. Let's sure. Let's get started. All right. So basically now all we got to do is we got to sell our water. Obviously, most of these shops don't have enough caps to just straight up sell it and then whatever. But we've got 2,600 uh, caps worth of water there. So... Basically, from here, we sit here and do a little shopping. So if you want to look at some stuff that'll help you work towards getting what you need to keep building more water facilities, you're going to look at stuff like antique globes, banded scissors, you know, grab a blast radius board game right there. We'll give you some nuclear material right off the hop. Buy some bone saws. It's got rubber and steel. There's a lot of uh, cake pans are great for aluminum. Three aluminum. So you're going to want to basically start doing that and start buying up the stuff that you need to start equipping yourself, you know, and, and whatever. Because then you can just go in with those caps and you're probably only going to get back, you know, that 200 to start saving up. 
but you can easily buy whatever you need to buy. So I need fusion cores for my power armor. There you go, there's two fusion cores, just like that. Buy a gold watch or two, maybe a magnet, a hot plate. Let's get all that copper saved up because we're gonna need it to build uh, more, uh, more power. And yeah, and basically this will just fund everything you're gonna do for the rest of the game. Oil cans, if those show up, definitely buy those. Aluminum and four oil, you're gonna need it. And then, yeah, basically you just go from there, come back and check on them once in a while. You can't just necessarily just go back and forth between them and have them produce water. Sometimes it doesn't work that way. And you may have to wait a bit, go on an adventure, whatever you may have to do. But either way, give it a little bit of time and you'll be able to pick up a whole bunch of stuff. Like you'll just be rolling in materials in no time you'll be able to grab all the ammo you need there you go there's a whole bunch of ammo for my shotgun how about stim packs need stim packs i need stim packs grab a bunch of stim packs here grab another one and another one just for good measure and then i'll accept i made some caps and there you go so as you can see that's been helping my uh, cap progress and also giving me access to a ton of items that i didn't have before all right, so there you go, guys. That is a great way to be able to make some money and fairly early on, just with a little bit of junk exploration. And you can get yourself a whole bunch of water, start producing that water, go on some adventures, go back and collect it. Cause I mean, it'll just keep adding. So if you go off and you do two or three quests and you're off exploring the wasteland for a while, all that water will be waiting for you. If somebody like Carla is, shows up in Sanctuary where you can sell to, you just quickly pop off, sell some stuff, get some material, and away you go and you keep doing that. That'll allow you to be able to basically buy all the weapons, armor, equipment, whatever you need to fund your adventures in the Commonwealth and basically corner the market on water. Hope you guys enjoyed checking this out. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications to see other stuff like this. I've done some Dark Souls videos and a couple other things for a couple other games, including Skyrim, and I'll post links to those at the end. So make sure you check that stuff out. Let me know in the comments below what you think and any other things and suggestions you have for other games like this. And I will see you all again very soon. Have fun, keep gaming, and I'll see you guys again next time.